Not long after Burl and Caesar conquered the viewers with slapstick and satire, a new art form arrived on TV. Uh, will you ever forget the big game? <laughs> what a day. 40,000 people in the stands yelling, give us Speedy, put in Speedy, we want Speedy. <laughs> so they took you out and put in Speedy. <laughs> well, the Situation the Comedy. The night before, I was up until 2 o'clock in the morning waiting for your folks to go to bed. So, so we could neck. <laughs> They should have put Speedy in then, too. <laughs> Television's first hit sitcoms are still the standard by which all others are measured. The Honeymooners and I Love Lucy. I Love Lucy debuted in 1951 and was an instant smash hit. Lucy's hilarious interplay with her co-star and real-life husband, Desi Arnaz, made the pair America's favorite comedy couple. How do you dare let a woman like that and have a figure like that come into this building? That's the biggest mistake. Hey, fellas! Oh, the show was not only groundbreaking in its superb writing and acting, but it was also the first sitcom to be filmed in front of a live audience for later broadcast. And ultimately, for syndication. It wasn't just one live show and, you know, try to remember it three days later. It, once it was put on film, and that, that really is the genius of Lucille Ball in what she was able to do. Lucille Ball, as funny as she was, Lucille Ball's contribution was as a brilliant, brilliant businesswoman. The syndication lesson was not lost on the honeymooners. The show is best remembered for its many years of reruns. The Honeymooners centered around the mundane life of a New York bus driver, played by a man who had been affectionately dubbed the Great One, Jackie Gleason. The Honeymooners. Unlike many other top-rated shows of the day, The Honeymooners featured few, if any, guest stars. As usual, I'm carrying a whole load on my shoulders. You're carrying the load, all right, but it's not on your shoulders. <laughs> Gleason. Audrey Meadows, Art Carney, and Joyce Randolph, quite simply, the perfect ensemble. 